Now, do you know how crazy that just sounds? You said Rigondeaux's manager going to fight. Rigondeaux going to fight anybody from 122 to 130. To 130. Yeah. Gary Hyde said that. Now, if Gary Hyde said that Rigondeaux's going to fight everybody from there, then he ain't got no problem in fighting Onito Donier. Why is he trying to make Donier come fight him at 123? I don't know. I know, cause they ain't trying to go up to the one twenty six and fight Don yet. That that fight could have easily been made. You wouldn't have been fighting a Beckle if that was the case. You would have been at one twenty six fighting Onito. So he got no excuse for not going to one twenty six. If Gary Hyde said that, he got no excuse for not fighting Rigandow. I mean, fighting Don Yer again. They get Guillermo Rigandow up there again. I don't think Onito wants to fight Rigandow again. Why not? <laughs> this time he would really get him out of there. I'm don't triple my money on this. Well, look how bad he looked against uh, Vic Darchini. Vic Darchini almost pulled off the upset. That's Vic Darchini. That's a whole. That's a fighter. Vic is a fighter. Hey, hey, and, and what happened hey, to Vic? Hey, Rick and Dale, Rick and Dale knocked out Vic Darchini within. Say five rounds. You get out of here. You think you think Rick and Dale could beat Vic Darchini? Get out of here. Rick and Dad wouldn't even been in there standing in front of him. He'd have been running all night. Vic been chasing him down with that one hand, stalking him the whole night. Like, I'm getting sick of this. <laughs> Rick and Dad been running around the ring, going in that circle, throwing that little stick out there, that little measuring jab, and just circling, circling, circling. Okay, one straight left. Then the circle, 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 run, run, run. And then, imagine if Vic hit him and hurt him. He really gonna run in. Then you're gonna be like, okay, here we go. The ring and down running contest. He should have been running. You sure he wasn't in the, what's that, the marathon or something? Like the marathon runners that be coming from Kenya? Nope. I think so. He probably was one of them. He probably represented Cuba. Man, ring and down should be in your top five pound for pound list, man. I don't have a pound for pound list, and if it was, he wouldn't be on it. Because <laughs> I'd be like, you need at least 15 fights or 20 fights to qualify. Asia <laughs> Bonner said he's number three pound for pound, right behind Floyd and Andre Ward, he said. He's not number three pound for pound, but he's up there. That's, that's what he said. That's well, what he said. According to him, he probably is. And you know who he put third and fourth? Himself. I mean, you know, yeah, fourth half it. He put himself. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, that's his own list. That list is, I told you, pound for pound means one person. But I ain't hear, I, you ain't hear the new thing today, right? I'm supposed to be the one that refused to interview Rigandau. Can you believe that? You. I did not refuse to interview Ringing Down. Hold on one second. Let me grab my mail. Hold on. But I'm finna triple my bet. Gotta look good for my fans. You refused them, then. That's the new garbage out here. They they talking about some. I refused him because I was going to interview him, but he didn't have a translator. So they didn't have a translator. I don't know who they thought I was, but they didn't have a translator, so I couldn't do it. So that was the end of that. And it's not like I refused to interview the guy. I interview him. I mean, I'm professional. Chad, when you gonna when you gonna get back with your boy that knows Miguel Cotto so you can get the inside scoop? Uh, who knows? <laughs> There's no scoop to get because he's not he's not gonna be in Big Bear, so I won't be getting too much of a scoop. I was blessed to get that because he was in Big Bear, a place he's never been before for that fight. 
So, the Trout Lord, that's a coin toss flip up fight. Which one? Uh, what's his name? Trout and Laura. But as far as rigging down, I've already made my prediction on that fight. Once they've made it. Shoot, I made this fight. So what? <laughs> Joseph and Beko, I made that fight. I made that fight happen. I said, yeah. You know I put that fight together. So I said, this is what I want to see him do right here. Now, y'all, take the fight. Gary, take the fight. And they took it. And they think Rigging Down can beat him. And I was like, great. Roger, you need to train this guy. Come on, Roger. Get, get in there and train Joseph Abeko. Now, he going to train with Roger. Getting some defense going, knowing how to protect himself, keep them combinations flowing. Rick and Dad gonna start running around that ring. It's all over. King Kong, baby, we finna get paid. I'm finna up my bets. Yeah, we finna get all this money off Rick and Dad. He might not make it to Donya. You still think Rick and Dad gonna win, don't you? Absolutely. Oh, man. I can't believe that. 